yeah there fellas uh cool dad here again um most of the job is already done i've already finished the plastering um part uh, which is mostly done and um and i finished the chip rocks um pretty much most of the project is already completed the last bit um is just to patch up all the uh, plaster works and uh, once this step finish uh, we pretty much get into sanding painting and uh, finish up the electrical and the project almost done uh, for that job I'm using the plastering paper um, some chip rock mix which is uh, comes quite handy it's a mud that we're using to um, uh, cover the plaster boards um, I've got my little flat head pretty much um, plastering board um, and the trawler which um, comes really handy if you guys want it to work really fast you can just uh, put the plaster on top of this and, and just spread it around uh, so I'm just going to go ahead and complete a section just to show you how it works and um, the rest of stuff is pretty much uh, straightforward. Uh, you guys can work it out. So to begin with, um, I'm just going to measure my paper alongside the wall. We go section by section, and uh, I've already finished this section. Uh, the one I'm going to do is this one all the way to the end, or um, or that corner. Uh, usually what it does um, you the principle is you, you do the corners and, and you fill up the, the middle part just to make sure the paper is not going to overlap so um, the measurement is pretty straightforward so you use the specific length of paper right on the bottom all the way to the top and I'm using a um, knife very much to cut it off but there's different ways of doing it so I'm not going to get into the details of that um, so you can apply the paper either wet or dry um, I prefer to use wet because of the humidity in this area at the moment is quite low so it's gonna um, help me um, reduce the amount of bubbles in a plasterboard so I've already uh, pre-mixed um, my plaster so it's all ready to go uh, pretty much get a specific amount of that and put it on the stroller so it's just to help us to manage the, the mix better you can flat the mud and just get certain amounts and what you do from one corner of the wall you pretty much cover the edges all the way to the top and you push the plaster towards the holes and in the corners so to get a better coverage so there's areas as you go all the way down pretty much clean up and you can use the excess just to do the rest same principle all the way and bring it excess
You do the same thing for the other side. and do exactly the same thing. It's nice to spread it on the wall. Go ahead and lay out paper. Like I said, you can, you can apply the paper either wet or dry. And I guess uh, in this area I'm just going to use a wet paper. And if you use two fingers, you put it on all sides of your paper and just uh, try to get this excess water from dripping on the floor and dirtying the floor. On the way, so it's nice and clean. And I plug the paper to the corner on one end, all the way down. Next thing we do is we push the paper against the plaster and the wall. Just try to make it stick and get rid of all the bubbles on the side of the wall. So. There's different techniques of doing that, but at the end of the day, it's not rocket science. everybody can come up with a really nice job so Next 
thing we do, we just cover the whole section of the layer in there. That might just do. There's two reasons for it. Firstly, it makes the paper stick pretty. Um, pretty nice and firm. And the second thing is, when we come back for, to put the next layer, it makes the job much easier. If you already have enough uh, plaster on your wall. the same thing alongside the other one to cover all the angles Just the excess mud and you use it. Just got to make sure it's evenly distributed. There's no uh, excessive amount of plaster left on the wall. So that's about it, I guess. Make sure we're cleaning your stuff, and uh, the next stage is the middle part, which is. I'm just going to continue doing it until I finish. Thanks for watching. Yeah, follow me and I'll complete the plasterboard. And I'll come up with the when I'm sanding and painting and pretty much doing the floor and everything will be done. Thank you so much. Have a great day.